Good morning. Well, today we're just going to read a verse that I actually addressed back when we were talking about verses that are often misunderstood or statements that are made that we don't really, we interpret out of context. So Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And I wanted to just, since it comes up in the, comes up in the text, I thought a double reminder wouldn't be bad. But the reminder is that it's set in the context of contentment, where he said earlier that no matter what the circumstances, whether I'm abounding and whether I'm brought low, I, I've learned, I've learned in plenty and hunger and abundance and need to be content. Now, I mentioned to you yesterday that contentment is a learned idea. That's true. It's a learned idea. Well, you might be in something that you go, man, that, that that's hard to learn. Like, it's, it's not just as simple as, oh, okay, I, I'll process this situation in life and I'll choose to be content. It's not as, as easy as choosing to be content. You actually need supernatural help to be content. You, you need the Lord to come alongside you. And that's what verse 13 points out. Paul is not saying, I've reached a place of such maturity that now no matter what happens in my life, I have learned to receive everything with a spirit of contentment. What he is saying is this. I've learned to be content, and the one who is my guide in the school is Jesus. I'm leaning on him to be content. So I have to be self-reflective, right? But self-reflection about my life, self-reflection about God's sovereignty in my life, self-reflection about how the Spirit is shaping my inner life, all those are important. But they, in and of themselves, are not sufficient because my reflection alone isn't going to help me be able to overcome the baser urges of my nature. Because I'm the one doing the reflecting and I'm sometimes some of the part of the problem. So what do I do? I lean on the Lord. I lean on him, this one who has all understanding. I trust him and he is the one who strengthens me to be content. So don't try to be content by the power of your own lights. Don't try to be content by your own vision. Don't try to be content by your own grit. Instead, you might say to the Lord, Lord, I'm struggling. I want to fight for contentment. I want to learn what you're doing in my life, but I need eyes to see it, ears to hear it. Help me to live in contentment. Then you can do it but you can do it through him who gives you strength. May the Lord strengthen you for contentment today. Take care.